NATO says its new defence projects will ensure the safety of Eastern European members of the bloc that are increasingly subject to Russian aggression. NATO Chief Jens Stoltenberg said he hoped a new 40,000-strong rapid reaction force would deter any threats to allied nations. This is the biggest reinforcement of our collective defence uh, since uh, the end of the Cold War. And uh, by doing that, we provide the deterrence, uh, uh, which is so essential to make sure that all NATO uh, countries are safe and uh, that they can rely on NATO. So the, the, the most important way to measure the success of NATO is that all NATO allies feel safe, can trust that NATO is there uh, to protect them. U.S. Defense Secretary Ash Carter urged NATO allies not to be distracted by Russian activities in Syria and to continue to hold Russia accountable for the situation in eastern Ukraine. We will also continue to make it clear that if Russia wants to end its international isolation, it must stop its aggression in eastern Ukraine, end its occupation and attempted annexation of Crimea, and live up to its commitments under the Minsk agreements. We must not let ourselves be distracted by Russian activities in Syria at the expense of holding them to task under Minsk. Divisions between NATO members who want to keep the focus on Russia's invasion of Ukraine and some other members like Hungary, which retain close links to the Kremlin, are making a unified NATO response to the Russian threat less likely.